Yo ho guys and welcome back to Pega Gamer Stand Plays Home the only car game. And I hope you enjoyed the last one with Fluttershy cuz it's going to be Fluttershy today again. So I'm I'm sorry that um I'm not very good at doing her voice, but <coughs> it's really it's really difficult for a guy, a girl, a guy, a girl like me who has like a really manly voice, you know. But yeah. Anyway, yeah. So uh, here we go again. Fluttershy. <clears throat> um, hi. Hello again. Um, I, I, I don't remember what we were doing. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was this facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. Oh, ladder! Yay! Upstairs! <laughs> this is your singing telegram. I hope it finds you well. You're invited to a party. <gasps> oh no, another dead person. I found another dead body. A sewer worker. He was a mess, but he looked like he'd been stabbed. I could see a keyring that had fallen out of his pocket. Did I take it? Yes. I worked up the nerve to snatch the keyring away and put it in my own pocket. There was a security camera in the room. There must there must have been a way to see what had happened. <gasps> Yay, we can find out who murdered him. <sighs> I could smell a hint of fresh air. I was anxious to leave, but I couldn't help but wonder what that key unlocked. This must have been the other end of the shaft. Whoever used it. <laughs> Sorry. Whoever used it could have gotten past that flooded room with this. <laughs> Sorry, I said shaft. That's funny. Sorry. <clears throat> I began to question my decision to take that heavy gun as I climbed. Would I need it before the end? Or was I a fool for even taking it? I wonder what was in that locked room I passed. Should I have come back to check? At the top of the ladder I found a latch and clumsily popped it open. Suddenly as I lifted the heavy lid above my head, the terrible smell of what that sewer gave way to the dank scent of pine trees. I'm outside! And I don't like the- And I don't like the music. What is that? Ooh! Don't like it! Running! Running! Running away. Ah. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <gasps> ladder! An old ladder leading up the ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend it? Yes! I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. Let me up! There's a monster down here! <gasps> bats! Stop the bats. Scratch marks. In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? The miss the wallet was missing its content, including any cards or ID. It was worn but light. It made carrying the gun around seem more awkward. Where were my driver license and credit card? There's a monster. Uh oh. Don't like this at all. Oh, it's the thing again. Go away, monster! Go away! Heavy padlock barred the rest covered door. I tried the key ring I got from the sewer, but none of the keys worked. I didn't think I'd be able to get through them, and it didn't feel strong enough to climb the fence. This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on the map I had seen. Whoever had was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. There's there's somebody crawling up behind me. Try 
trampled into the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was mine, still unusable. If it was still usable, what, but it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the credit card. Hopefully I could find my driver's license, too. I don't like this. Through the fence I could see a dis dilapidated old building. I wondered if I could find my way around. Oh. Okay, let's go. I'm on a mission. What was that? There was some personal effects shoved back into the rock. Wait, there was a notebook there too. Read it? Yes. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was page after worn page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, and Rachel. Rachel? Her name was last on the list and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. Uh-oh. Um, I don't know where to go. I'm gonna get lost, aren't I? Ah! No, 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 don't look. No, no. Okay. I'm looking anyway. The grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. We need to wash their hands in that. A musty wooden plank propped on the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Yes. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. I hear something. Hello. The sign was the same as the first one I'd seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the forest. I finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. The close, damp air of that forest clung to me like a cloak as I pressed on through the gate. It was as if the trees were finally heading me through, giving me a way out. That notebook that, <laughs> that notebook got it discovered didn't seem helpful, but since I read it, I couldn't put it out of my mind. What did it all mean? I don't like this. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I'd worked as a mechanic for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a vein rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. No, nope, I hear something. I don't like it. One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. There was a large power box with five lives on it. Cable burst out of the box, sick, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to the wear and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. The door was locked. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. The board contained yellow, yellowed clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Uh, I really don't like this. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push it? Open lock was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside. It was scratched out. The face was unrecognizable. Yes. It was shut tight. Okay. 
Okay, so that Okay. Let's go this way. Yep. Our old break table, the layer of dust and grime only made seeing the sting more. Okay, let's see what's up here. Boarded up door. The door has been hastily boarded up. Another panel that I hope in uh, get a power. I'm gonna get lost in here, aren't I? Okay. I got it! A utility self crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Yes. As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. Ugh. <gasps> What's that noise? I don't like it. Hello? Alright, I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna see if I can get this on. I stuck with, struck with the hammer. The old wooden boards came apart easily. After I had removed the planks, I left the hammer on the floor. <gasps> I don't know if I like this or not. Hello? The floor was littered with old acre bottles. I wonder if that man in the house had something to do with this. He sure had a lot of alcohol at his place. This was my locker. There in the factory. It stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel on the inside. It, it looked like it had been torn up. I thought I had taken that picture home when the factory closed. I don't know. Doesn't seem good though. Huh? <gasps> What's that? Hello? Hello? A rusty little regulator of some kind sat dusty and unused against the wall. Huh? <gasps> Planks, tools, and broken up parts blocked any further passage. Okay. Another smudge of dirt similar to the one I found in those sewers was on the floor. <sighs> that scared me. Fuck. The power book box looked like it was running again. A rack of flashlights hung on the wall. One of them was missing. It's the one I have. My head pounded as I stepped back. Outside, once again enveloped in the scent of pine trees and muck. The path beyond was terribly dark and I was grateful and my flashlight was still working. I wondered, though, was it taken from the plant? It sure seemed to. But how did I get a hold of it? I had little choice but to follow the path and hope that it got me hot back to town. I wondered, Norman had this door along the main road. Was it close? If he was, I could certainly use some help. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. Thanks so much for joining me again. And I hope you like this little change of um, scenery. So, yes, thank you so much, guys. I love you guys. And don't do anything bad while I'm gone. Bye!